All right, there's been some people saying that the 7.3 gas engine from Ford is not putting out uh, enough oil pressure at idle. So I decided to test uh, the oil pressure on my friend's uh, F250. Um, I got it connected down just on top of the oil filter using a adapter plate. And the truck is cold. Uh, ambient temperature is around 60 degrees today. Uh, so we're going to remote start it to see what the pressure reads. Let's see. <laughs> Went all the way up to 93 PSI. Not sitting at 35. Thirty four PSI at idle, thirty three. All right, let's see what we read inside. I'm pausing the video here. All right, here we can see we're running just under a thousand RPMs. Um, transmission temp sixty four degrees. You can see the old pressure gauge. Possibly it's a dummy. I tend to think the same thing. Just reading right above half. To the truth, never moves. And here you can see the top left engine coolant temperature 104. RPMs bottom right at 900 RPMs. We'll let it warm up and see what happens to that pressure. All right, we're back. Uh, engine's now idling right at about 600 RPMs. Engine coolant temperature, 167. Transmission, 126. Uh, of course, the oil gauge is still reading the same. All right, let's see what the pressure is at operating temperature it's almost there it's one it's about 170 let's see what it reads at idle all right at idle with the engine warm we're at 22 and a quarter that's about three times the APSI that people are saying on the web so that's at idle 22 PSI I'm gonna let it run longer uh, to see if we get to maybe uh, 190 degrees on the engine coolant, we should also make the oil 190 degrees. And we'll see what happens to the oil. All right, it's uh, hanging out at around 22 PSI. I'm gonna go and rev it up to uh, maybe 1,000 RPMs, 1,500 and 2,000, and let's see what happens.
All right, I took it all the way up to 3,000 RPM. Engine coolant is at 180 degrees. And we're still holding now 21.1, and 21 PSI. All right. All right, we're gonna do another start. The truck's been off for about an hour. Uh, let's see what the pressure does this time. <laughs> So it looks like the pump goes to 100% when it first starts and then it, when the engine ramps down it goes back to uh, the minimum which is like 22. 